In previous video, we have seen how we can create the schedules. And now in this video, we'll understand how we can apply those schedules to the firewall rules. So let me show you step by step how we can apply the schedule to the firewall rules. If I go here to firewall rules, you can see we created multiple rules in LAN and WAN. So here my concern will be LAN rule because we created a schedule for the kids that kids devices, internet to the kids devices should be blocked, but not all the times. You can see here right now, this shows that internet access is blocked all the times, but I want to block during a specific schedule. So how we will do that? I can either create a new rule and disable this rule, or I can edit this rule. So I will simply go here to edit the rule here, and it will show me all the details. I will simply go down here into advanced options, display advanced, and down here you will see the schedule. You can see here schedule, and I want to apply this rule during the schedule of sleep time and save. Apply the changes. Now you can see here that schedule is also now available in the rule during this specific time, which is sleep time, and time to sleep is the schedule. If I click this, it will open that schedule, it will show me what is exactly the sleep time. And here, if I go back to that firewall rule, you will see here in the LAN section that the schedule is right now active and this firewall rule is active. So this way you will be able to apply a specific rule during a specific time. And where this rule is applied, this rule is applied to these sources, which means that I can still access. I can still access the internet but the devices which are in this alias will be blocked. So they will not be able to get the access. So you can also create a new rule. For example, if I create a new rule that pass the access from the LAN, IP address will be IPv4 and protocol will be any. Source will be again alias and these will be kids devices. And I want to allow now the access to any network. You can see here pass. I want to allow this if I go down here schedule. So during school holidays, I want to allow entire access to these devices without any restriction. So I'll save this, apply this here. You can see here that now this kids devices rule is on top, but right now the schedule is not active. You can see here this rule is not currently active because this period is, has expired. So either this period will come, then only this rule will apply. So what I'll do now, I'll go here to the firewall, rules, and you will go to LAN, and in LAN you can see this way we have created rules. You can create more and more rules depending upon your choice. For example, if you have scheduled a backup from any of your cloud server to your local network during a specific time, so you can allow the server to access only during that specific time from external to your network and then you can stop. For example, you have an FTP server hosted on your network and there is a cloud server which has to upload the data on your local server and you want to enable FTP port only during a specific time. So that time can be added and that schedule can be added. During that specific schedule, the FTP port will open and then or that rule will apply which will enable the FTP port and after that duration the rule will automatically be disabled. Schedule gives you flexibility to activate the specific rules during specific times.